In this video, we will introduce how to troubleshoot your tasks. First, let's make sure we all understand the underlying logic for Octopar scraping. The steps of the workflow should always be read from top to bottom and from inside to outside when you have multiple nested loop items and paginations. We need to also pay attention to how loop works. Loop means to repeat the steps inside it to a list of items. Pagination is actually a special type of loop too and it will also repeat the actions inside it. You may get confused at first sight. It will be easier to grasp if you use some instances. For this workflow, it only has one loop item. So it follows the logic of going from top to bottom. Namely, it first executes go to web page and then sorts the list of data on the page in a loop. After this, it extracts the data line by line in the loop. Let's take a look at another workflow. We can see the pagination and loop item are nested. This will hold true for both the from top to bottom and from inside to outside orders. The process starts by going to the web page. Just behind the upper step are the two nested steps. Which comes first? Since this loop item is the inner one, it comes first. The loop retrieves the list of data and extracts each entry individually. Next, it reaches pagination, the outer one. Pagination always works with a click to paginate step. They together will ask Octoparse to go from page 1 to the last page. Imagine what will happen when it hits page 2. Write, the loop and extract start again. As we mentioned, pagination will repeat the steps inside it. This loop item is inside the pagination, so every time this pagination executes, the loop item will be executed too. The click to paginate step follows closely after that. The workflow shall end when all the data on each page is scraped. With these two instances, I think you've mastered the logic. Now that we know this, we may proceed with this specific workflow to confirm each step. Whichever step you click, you will receive a response in the browser. Once you click on Go to Web Page, you will notice that the page starts loading. Next, click on the pagination and see that the Next Page button is highlighted. This indicates that Octoparse has successfully detected the correct pagination button. It's important to note that pagination is closely tied to the Click to Paginate step, as mentioned before. Where there is pagination, there is a Click to Paginate step. So please remember to test the click to paginate along with the pagination. Once the button is detected, simply click on click to paginate to ensure that the pagination is functioning correctly. Now, let's move on to the loop item step. By clicking on this, you will notice that the blocks of information are highlighted. This indicates that they are sorted in the loop and will be scraped accordingly. If you click here for the loop item, you can view the list of data in the text. In the general section, you can see how many lines are looped. Simply choose one line and apply it. Then, click on Extract Data and you will see that the chosen line is highlighted and the data inside the block is scraped separately in the Data Preview section. To make adjustments to your workflow, we have some helpful tips for you. If you need to delete something, simply click on the three dots and choose Delete. Or, if you want to change the order of the steps, you can easily drag the step to the desired location. Just remember, when you click on the outside loop, the steps inside will also be deleted. So, before deleting the outside loop, please make sure to drag the inner steps out if you need them. Once you have confirmed that all the steps are working correctly, you can test run the task. While the task is running locally, you can watch the scraping process by opening the browser here. All the steps that we have set in the workflow will be automatically performed in the browser. Additionally, you can also check the event log to see how the workflow is progressing. In case of any errors, you may notice that the page is stuck at a certain point in the browser. To pinpoint the issue, you can also refer to the error log in the event log along with the stuck page. This will help you locate the error quickly. Have you encountered a failed task? Don't worry, you can troubleshoot it using the tips mentioned in this video. And if you need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are always here to help.